All right, for today's video, we're gonna learn about how to turn this piece of paper into a Bridget Riley inspired optical illusion. Now, if you work in Key Stage 1, depending on what curriculum you use in your setting, you've probably seen there pops up this bit about recreating Bridget Riley optical illusions. It's usually in Year 1, but I've seen it also in Year 2. And Bridget Riley is amazing. She's one of my favourite artists. The thing about Bridget Riley is that it's incredibly complicated, beautiful work involving painting lines, patterns and colour with really tiny differences in, little adjustments, so that when your eyes look at the pictures, it plays with your vision and it can often give a sensation of being dizzy or when you walk past it, it might look like it's moving and flowing or that there are shapes popping out of the canvas. Now, when you look at the curriculum, it often asks the young people to recreate these kinds of paintings using black and white paint. Now, the thing about Bridget Riley is that she's Bridget Riley. She's incredible. Her and her assistants spend hours and hours and months and months making their paintings. And we're asking our pupils to recreate them when they've only been on this earth for six or seven years. Their hand control's not quite there yet. And we're asking them to make them in probably a 45 minute hour lesson slot. And so it's kind of an impossible task for them when they're using paint and that well you know what that means it means their well-being goes down and their confidence is not and they're not as excited or enthusiastic for their next piece of artwork so this project is a way of using cutting and gluing and collage which are all skills that they need to have practice in especially the younger they are the more they can practice their cutting and gluing the more able they will be at a later stage and so this project allows them that success so their well-being will be high because everybody in your class will be able to make one of these. It's quick, it doesn't have any mess, it doesn't have any fuss, but what it does do is it recreates the optical illusion and it works. It will make shapes pop out of the paper and it will look amazing on your displays. So this is how easy it is to make. There is very little prep. In fact, the only prep that you need is you'll need to make one of these. It's a simple document that you're gonna get printed out so that you have two sheets for every child. But to create this, it's really simple. It's just a Word file. Now I'm gonna be using a Mac, so on my Mac I have a program called Pages, but it works exactly the same way as Microsoft Word. So whatever program you're using, whether it's Microsoft Word or Apple Pages, they're the same thing really. Just start to open your program now. So once your page is opened, make sure it's a landscape. Then find yourself the line tool, click on it, and then draw a line all the way across your page. And then you're gonna to wanna to increase the thickness of that line to about 20. Doesn't matter too much how thick it is. You'll get a sense of how thick you want it. Then you'll wanna copy that line and then paste it, and then move it to where you want it to be. You just repeat the same thing over and over again until your page is completely covered in the black and white stripes. So once you've completed the whole sheet, all you want to do is save it to your school server and then print out two pieces of paper for every child in your class. So the thing about this is you don't have to stick to black and white lines. You can experiment with different types of shape. So I like to use circles and I like to use squares because I think they look brilliant when they're repeated out and you get that really strong optical illusion, dizziness kind of feeling. But experiment. I mean, this is something you could do with your pupils. Put them on the computers, give them word and get them to experiment with their own patterns. So what you're going to want to do is place it in the middle, the guides will help, and then you're going to choose no fill, so that'll make it completely clear in the middle. And then you want to give yourself an edge, about the same width, about 20, and then you're going to copy and you're going to paste it. So one thing I would say is that when you are increasing the size of your shapes, make sure you hold down the shift key, that way it will keep the shape in proportion and stop it from becoming stretched. So once you've got your pattern printed, you'll want to get it photocopied so that every pupil gets two copies of the same pattern. And that's really important. They'll use one of the sheets of paper to cut shapes out of, and then those shapes will be stuck to the other piece of paper. That's what gives that optical illusion effect. 
but well, let's have a look at the top down camera so you can see how it's made. So to do this it couldn't be any easier, you just need your two printed out pieces of pattern, a print stick, some shapes, a pencil and a pair of scissors. thing that I realised I said earlier on in this video is that any child in your class will be able to achieve this and I'm aware that differentiation is really important and that different children will have different needs but what's great about this project is that because you've got those two printed patterns that are the same you can pretty much do whatever you want and when you stick one on top of the other it will create that optical illusion. So if you have a child who is unable to use scissors, then they can tear the paper, they can scrunch and rip it, and then when they stick it down, it will still work. If you've got a child who doesn't want a fixed piece of artwork, perhaps they get stressed or they get anxious by the idea of making it permanent, don't make it permanent. Just have the pieces that can move around and use your school camera to photograph it in its different positions and then that child will be able to modify and change their pattern as they wish. So to make it even easier for you to achieve this art lesson in your classroom, I'm gonna stick the patterns onto my website to download for free. So visit www.artjohn.co.uk where you'll be able to download the PDFs onto your school system, print them off, and then have a fantastic art lesson. If you have any comments about how your lesson went using this method, I would love to hear them, so leave them below. Likewise, share and like if you feel inclined to do so, and I would recommend subscribing to my channel by clicking the button, I think it's down there, and when you do click the subscribe button, ring that little bell, and that way you'll get email notifications every time I upload a new tutorial video. All right, 